Hi there, and welcome to part three of our organization hack series. In this video, we've designed multiple organizers for skincare, hair care, makeup, and nails. And all of these organizers have been made using everyday Dollar Tree products. So not only are they inexpensive, but since you assemble yourself, they can be completely customized to your needs, making them better than Amazon. Now, if you have been following the series, you know that we have already shared over 40 never before seen organization hacks. But the question remains, do we have what it takes to take on this? Ah, the old stuff and stash. Stuff it in a bag, box, or container and stash it in a closet, cabinet, or drawer. Stuff and stash. I know it well. So let's see what we can do about this, starting up here with these skincare regimen items. Now, if you're thinking skincare regimen, this is my skincare regimen, and this is the only organizer display or caddy I need. If so, then you are among the blessed. However, if you are one of the skincare warriors engaged in a constant battle to defend against the signs of aging, dry or sensitive skin, oily or acne prone skin, or all of the above, then you probably have a variety of weapons in your arsenal, like cleansers, toners, exfoliators, serums, eye creams, spot treatments, masks, moisturizers, and sunscreens, not to mention tools, and are probably in need of a good way to keep them at the ready and set to deploy. So we came up with two designs. One is a two-tier Lazy Susan type display, and the second is a skincare specialized storage caddy. Let's start with the two-tier Lazy Susan. To make this organizer, I picked up two Dollar Tree burner cover sets from the kitchen section. Now these come at two to a pack with one small and one large burner cover, then one 80 count pack of pearls from the floral section, and one pencil and brush organizer from the craft section. To make the Lazy Susan base, I'll take the two small burner covers and turn them upside down and then pour the bag of pearls into one of them. The second small burner cover will eventually be placed on top, but first I want to attach the brush organizer to it. I'll temporarily assemble it so that I can make certain the serum bottles I want to place on the bottom tier will clear it. I will also need to make sure that I'm leaving enough space for the bottles before gluing the brush holder in place. So I use the dropper bottles to create a template by placing them on the burner cover along with the brush organizer to determine where I need to glue the brush organizer, but still have room for the bottles. I then applied some E6000 glue to the slotted end of the brush organizer, and since a little bit goes a long way, I'm just going to dab the glue along the grate as well as a few dabs on the flat surfaces. Then I'll glue it to the burner cover in the space I marked with the pencil. Next, I turn my attention to the top tier, where I'll be using the large burner covers. I'm going to take one of the covers and glue the other end of the brush organizer to the middle of that with some E6000. I'll make sure it's centered by measuring all around and adjust if necessary, which I can do with E6000 since it does not immediately set and will still be pliable at this stage. Then I'll set that combo aside to set and cure. Next, I'll take the second large burner cover and to that I'm going to add this Dollar Tree acrylic container with lid that I found in the bath section and these acrylic dessert cups and square bowls I found in the party section. For this configuration, I start with the lidded container and then add it three of the dessert cups to the back of that. Next, I'll take two of the square bowls and put that in front of the container in a kind of diamond formation. I'll leave the rest of the space open so I can place large bottles and containers around in these sections. Then once you have the configuration you want, you can go ahead and glue in place with some E6000 glue. A few months back, Shells P, an awesome viewer and supporter of this channel, commented, Rosemary, I have a little drinking game. Coffee, of course. And it activates when you say E6000. Well, Shells and everyone else who would like to join in, I hope you have a full pot on and that it's not too late in the day because there's going to be a whole lot of E6000 going on in this video. But all joking aside, please be aware that E6000, like many strong adhesives, as well as other products used in crafting like spray paint and solvents, have harmful vapors and should always be used in well-ventilated areas. Also, a little goes a long way, so although I'll be using E6000 often in this video, I will also be using it sparingly and limiting my exposure to the open wet product. 
Now back to our organizer. Once the glue on the pieces was set, I attached the brush organizer together and then next added some E6000 to the top of the large burner cover. Then I placed the second large burner cover with the acrylic pieces on top, making sure to line up the front of the top tier with what I want to be the front of the bottom tier. Once that is set, it's time to fill my organizer. Starting with the area underneath, I'm going to store some facial wipes and sheet masks. Next come the serums, and I'll line those up across the front. On the top tier, I'll use the tall dessert cups to hold facial tools along the back, and then fill the lidded container with cotton balls. Cotton rounds will go into one of the square bowls, and I'll use the other one for more facial tools. In the open spaces, I'll add the products like moisturizer, toner, cleanser, spot treatments, sunscreen, and various eye, neck, and face creams. This rotating organizer can be placed on a shelf, a vanity, or countertop to provide ample storage for your skincare regime. But of special note is the round design, which makes it ideal to place in a corner for maximum space savings. And finally, since the tiers are metal, you can add these Dollar Tree magnetic hooks attached to the side to hold things like hair bands and sponges. To make the caddy style organizer, I use one of the Dollar Tree section caddies from the organization section, a cutting board from the kitchen section, a package of silver napkin rings from the party section, and two acrylic square bowls and two acrylic tall dessert cups also from the party section. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply a thin but well spread amount of E6000. But when I attach the two together, I'm going to slide the caddy to the back to cover the opening on the cutting board. I'm also going to line up the side of the caddy with the long edge of the cutting board. This will leave a little ledge on the one side, as well as in the front of the caddy. To weigh down the caddy and ensure a tight bond, I'm going to add some votive candles to the inside of the caddy. Next, I'm going to take five of the napkin rings, align them up, and glue them to the cutting board on that front ledge using some E6000. As for the acrylic square bowls, I'm going to glue those to either side of the handle, and I only need to add glue to the parts of the bottom of the bowl where they will be touching the caddy. Next, I'm going to take the two acrylic dessert glasses and glue those to the divider on the side. At this point, I will set the entire piece aside at least overnight for the glue to cure. Now, at this stage, several questions may be coming to mind, like why E6000? Well, I'm using E6000 because I'm bonding plastics and metals, and for these materials, in my experience, E6000 is the most effective, easiest, most inexpensive per ounce, and it's widely available. Is this video sponsored? No, but it should be. Couldn't I just use hot glue or super glue? Well, yes, but only if you're looking to make some type of modern art museum piece. But if you actually want to use it as an organizer, then no, 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 that would be bad. On the other hand, E6000, when properly allowed to set and cure, well, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Are there other effective products I could use? Yes, there are various epoxies and cements that would also work, but they often require a more involved two-step process, are not as widely available, and are often more expensive. What does let the glue cure mean? It's kind of what happens after the glue dries, but we'll discuss that more later in the video. But for now, let's get back to our skincare organizer. Once the glue is set, I have one last thing I want to do, and that is to attach one of these elastic headbands to the side. I'll attach one end with a zip tie to the front, wrap around the side, then attach the other end with a second zip tie to the back. Now it's ready to fill. I'll start with some smaller masks in the section underneath then fill the napkin rings with serum bottles. Next comes products like cleansers, spot treatments, eye, face, and neck creams, and the elastic band slash ledge combo can be used to hold larger masks. The small rear section of the caddy is perfect for tubes like sunscreen, and in the larger section, bottles of moisturizer and toner are a good fit. Facial tools are again a good match for the tall dessert cups, and the square bowls work great again for cotton rounds and more tools. This hacked caddy does fit quite a good bit of products and now, since there are more spaces and options, items have specific homes and so when you put your caddy away, it can be sorted and stashed instead of stuffed and stashed, making it much better looking and much more user friendly.
Next, let's try to do the same for hair products, tools, and accessories. So hair care items needing organization typically include tools like hair dryers and irons, products like hairspray gels and oils, and accessories like barrettes, hair ties, and headbands. So let's start with hair products and make a little two-tier caddy, again using the section caddy from the organization section, and then the small section caddy from the teaching slash school section. And this one is super easy. All I'm going to do is attach the two caddies together using zip ties by feeding two zip ties under the handle of the larger caddy, then taping the ends of the zip ties together with some masking tape. Then I'll place the smaller caddy on top, pulling the zip ties through the hole in the center. Then I'll remove the tape from one of the zip ties and loop it around the top of the small caddy handle, securing it in place and attaching the two caddies together. I'll repeat for the second zip tie and cut off the tails. And that's it. My two-tier hair products caddy is ready for duty, and no E6000 needed. Wait, what? Did she just say E6000? Oh, gotcha! You weren't expecting that one. In the bottom portion of the caddy, you can store your larger hair product cans and containers. Tubes fit nicely in front, and smaller cans, containers, and packets fit nicely in the upper tier. Then brushes and combs can slide in along the back, creating a one-stop shop for products and brushes. As for the hair tools like dryers and irons, let's make a heat resistant caddy to house them. From a Dollar Tree round cutting board slash trivet from the kitchen section, three regular size metal pencil cups, and one jumbo sized metal pencil cup from the office supply section, and one lint roller from the laundry care section. I'll again apply a thin but spread out amount of the E6000 to glue the cups to the cutting board, making sure to bring the cups in line with the edge of the board. Next, I'll remove the handle from the lint roller and use a little E6000 to the end and place that between the cups in the center of the board. Once I made sure everything was lined up and centered, I placed it out of the way and let it sit at least overnight. Once the glue is cured, the caddy is ready to use. The various tools go in the mesh cups and the cords are stashed in the larger cup. The handle can be used to bring your caddy in and out of storage. As for hair accessories, we have a couple of different options. First, we're going to make an organizer using a tall container with lid found in the food storage area. And we're going to pair that with a dog bowl found in the pets area. I'm going to use this particular type of dog bowl that has the part where the food goes and then when you flip it over you have this kind of flat portion surrounded by an indented section. The bowl is going to become the lid for the organizer and you can either put it face up or face down depending on the types of hair accessories you have most, which we'll see in a minute. But first I'm going to apply a small but widespread amount of E6000 to the bottom of the canister so I can attach it to the inside of the lid. And when I do, I'm going to push the canister all the way to the front, leaving space in the back. As for the lid, first let's do face up with this orange positive vibes bowl. Now it will be better if you can find a solid color bowl, but these were the only ones my Dollar Tree had. But maybe you like the print, and if so, you're kind of good to go here. But I'm going to go ahead and cover the print, and in this case, with some white paint that works on plastic. Plus, I will also clean and lightly sand the surface first. Since paint also needs to cure, let's take a second and talk about this not-so-sexy side of crafting. If you're not familiar, curing is the process materials like glue, paint, caulk, spackle, and cement undergo after they are dry. It is a chemical change that allows for the bond to achieve its full strength. Now, the good news is this chemical process does not require any further intervention from us to make it happen, except for not touching it, leaving it alone, let it do its thing. And so that's the not so sexy side of crafting, that many of the materials we work with require time. And for us to read the fine print on the glues, adhesives, and paints we are using to determine the conditions, preparation, application, dry times, and yes, cure times, so that we can enjoy our DIYs for years to come. And now back to our hair accessories organizer. Once the dog bowl is painted and ready, I'm going to take one of these small acrylic bowls that I got from the party section, and I'm going to glue it with some E6000 to the center of the dog bowl, and put it aside for the glue to set up. For the bottom up version, I'm going to use the blue dog bowl. I found some pretty blue butterfly stickers at the Dollar Tree that match the blue on the bowl pretty closely. I placed the stickers on the bowl covering the paw prints and lettering, but leaving the blue background. Once the stickers are on, I will add several coats of Mod Podge to seal. 
I will then again glue one of the small acrylic bowls to the underside center. Now Nikki is going to fill the organizer by first filling the base with bobby pins. Next, she took one of these Dollar Tree lunch containers, took it apart, and in the little salad dressing section, she put in some braid ties. And in the larger section, she added fabric headbands. On the other side, she added clips, then placed the lunch container inside the canister and filled around it with scrunchies. The outside of the container made the perfect spot to stack and store headbands. And the lid created the perfect storage space for clips and fancy bobby pins that went all around the edge with barrettes going in the section between the edge and the center. And the small bowl became the perfect home for hair ties. Put the lid on top and you have quite the hair accessory organizer, packing a mighty punch with a super small footprint. For the bowl I painted white, I again glued on one of the acrylic bowls to the center, which created a space to hold hair ties and a well to hold barrettes. It's a lot smaller, but the sides of the bowl can be used to store clips. Although you lose storage space, there are benefits to using the dog bowl face up. One, it's a more streamlined organizer, and two, the bowl fits better as a lid this way. But both ways will work. It really depends on what type of accessories you have and what you need most. Wow, things are looking pretty put together in there for our skin and hair care, and it looks like makeup is up next. Like the skincare organizers, we designed two options. One is a rotating display, and the other is more of a caddy. To make the rotating makeup organizer, I picked up one set of these Dollar Tree microwave bowls that come two to a pack from the kitchen section, one of the pencil and brush organizers from the craft section, and the acrylic square bowls from the party section. I'll also be using one of the small bowls and one of these wide stretchy headbands that come in a multi-pack and are found in the hair accessory section. And an 80 count bag of the pearls from the floral section. And the first thing I'm going to do is assemble the pencil and brush organizer. Then I want to attach the headband to two of the posts. I'll apply some E6000 to two of the posts, as well as a dab of hot glue. Next, I'll take the cut headband and wrap one end around one of the posts, holding it until the hot glue sets. Then pull the headband around to the second post, add a dab of hot glue, and wrap the other end, holding again until the hot glue is set. Next, I'll add some E6000 glue all along the edge of the brush and pencil organizer and then place it in one of the bowls, making sure it is sitting evenly. I then glued four of the acrylic square bowls to the top of the organizer, topping it with a small bowl. Once the glue was set and cured, I took the second bowl and added one half bag or 40 pearls. Then I placed the organizer on top and it was good to go. To fill, Nikki first placed brushes into the base using the hairband as support. Next, she added some palettes and eyelashes in the section underneath. On top, she added mascara and eyeliner to one of the square bowls, primers to another, lip liners and lipsticks to a third, and foundation and concealers to the fourth. And up on top, a foundation blender. With its extremely small footprint, this makeup organizer works well in any small space. But like the skincare organizer, when used in a corner, the round shape takes on a maximum space saving capability. For the second makeup organizer, we use a Dollar Tree square cutting board slash trivet and a metal napkin holder, both from the kitchen section, two pencil holders from the office section, and the acrylic dessert cups and square bowls from the party section. Then we're going to line them up as shown and simply glue them in place with some E6000. And then once again, set aside to cure at least overnight. And then once ready, Nikki filled the organizer first with some palettes and eyelashes in the napkin holder, and then eye cream, eyeliner, mascara, brow pencils, and tubes of primer on the one side of the pencil holder, and then chapstick, lip gloss, lip pencils, and lipsticks on the other side. The row of dessert cups on the back made the perfect home for a large brush collection, and the square bowls provided ample space for foundation, concealer, finishing spritz, and a blending sponge. And then once that one was tucked away, it was time to move on to our nail care organizers. 
And then once again, we designed two nail care options. One is a rotating display and the other is a storeway caddy. For the rotating nail care organizer, I'm going to make the base the same way as the skincare organizer from the beginning of the video, starting with two of the small burner covers. I'll pour the bag of pearls into the one and then set aside. The second burner cover, I'll again make a template using the base of a pencil and brush organizer, but this time using my widest bottle of nail polish to determine where I need to glue the brush organizer on the burner cover. I'll mark with a pencil, then glue the base to the burner cover in that spot using some E6000 glue. For the top of the organizer, I'm going to use four of the square bowls in a diamond formation and then attach two of the tall dessert glasses on either side. I'll glue them in place using some E6000, of course, and when I attach the first square bowl, I'm going to place it on the surface of the brush organizer with the corner coming over the edge a little bit in the front. Then I'll line up the others behind with the two tall glasses on either side. Then I put that aside again for the glue to set and cure. To fill, Nikki placed a stash of fake nail kits underneath, then bottles of nail polish on the front lower tier. Up top, she started with a tube of hand cream in one of the square bowls, then nail files and cuticle oil in each of the tall glasses. A nail buffer and bottle holder went into square bowl number two, and manicure tools found a home in the third, and cotton balls in the fourth. And then there we have another great little 360 degree organizer. For the nail care caddy, I picked up one of these Dollar Tree plastic storage containers with a latch lid and handle. And yes, this is in the $1.25 section. I also picked up one of these index card containers from the teaching section and more of the square bowl cups, which I think at this stage are giving E6000 a run for its money. And then quite simply, the index card box can be used to hold nail polish bottles. The square bowls can hold cotton balls, manicure tools, buffers and holders, and cuticle care. The open space on the side is perfect for a dispenser type bottle of nail polish remover, which I also picked up at Dollar Tree, and a tube of hand cream, and even a fake nail kit or two. And then you can just latch on the handled lid and store away. Dollar Tree also had this other lower and wider plastic storage container with a latch lid and handle, again in the $1.25 section, which is perfect for creating a pedicure kit. To this container, I added two of the small white bins that come three for $1.25 and one of the longer thinner bins, which also come three for $1.25 and are found in the storage and organization area. To fill, Nikki added foot cream, toe separators, a puma stone, foot brushes and files, moisturizing socks, foot soak, and foot scrub. And in the open space, it's perfect for a petty egg. And then here's the best part. The bins can be removed and the container used as a bin to soak your feet. So let's take a look now how things are shaping up. We have our skin and hair care looking mighty fine. Makeup is also looking pretty good. And the Manny and Petty kits are awesome. But oh no, what do we have here? A jumbled jewelry jungle? and a hodgepodge handbag heap? Oh boy, looks like we got our work cut out for next episode, which depending on when you're watching this video, may be available right here. If not yet published, you probably wanna subscribe and hit that bell so you're among the first notified as soon as it is. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.